October favorites. I'm I'm gonna say it. Where has the month gone? And the second one I'm gonna say, where has the year gone? I do feel like October has just flown by. But I guess it always feels like that. And if you follow me for a long time, even if you just follow me on Instagram, you may know that October is very special for me because it is the month that Eddie was born. On the 15th of October, he turned two years old. I have a two-year-old. Uh, he is definitely entering his terrible twos. So far, it hasn't been like crazy, but I'm expecting more. Definitely. But he's a big boy, and around his birthday, I always think back to that beautiful time two years ago and I remember everything so clearly like it was yesterday. I just have to say, I know this sounds kind of conceited probably, but you will not know true happiness until you have a child. Nothing compares. You think, like it's like, oh it's awesome having a kid. Nothing compares. Words cannot describe how amazing it is. But enough of mommy chatter. I'm proud of my boy. You probably knew that anyway. So let's get into my favorites. As I said in my last favorites, I felt pretty sure I would have more beauty favorites than I did in September and boy was I right. And I actually have, for me, this is a large amount of makeup favorites. So why don't we just get into it? I can't say that I have, be, I have used every single makeup item on my face today. So let's get started with, well, one that actually almost made it into my September favorites, and it is this. It is from Tom Ford, and it is No Shock, my beautiful, well, it's seen better days, obviously, um, new dip eye color quad that launched for fall 2014. I was one of the lucky ones to get my hands on it. Um, I was very vigilant and I did check suffrages every day, twice a day for about two weeks until it finally came on the site. And it did pay off and I love it. It is my first ever Tom Ford eyeshadow, um, eyeshadow bottom line, eyeshadow quad. Uh, and I just, ugh, I'm in love. Especially with this pink one, which I have on my eyelid today. I don't know if you can see, but I am just, ugh, I'm afraid that I will love it too much and finish it, and then my heart will be broken. Moving on. Two, two items that I've also used with this today, and it is these two bad boys. They are the By Terry Ombre Black Star. What are they actually called? Um, Color Fix Cream Eyeshadow. Ooh. And I, uh, you may have seen this e these in my Space and K haul. And I have the color 3 Blonde Opal, which I just have in the corner of my eye for a little bit of highlight. It's just a cream color. And then I have number 5 Misty Rock. Which, oh, it's like a beautiful, almost grayish metallic pink. And I've been using this as the base for the pink color in the new dip quad. Let me say, when I was so, I've been putting it off, I've heard amazing things about these a million times, but I've been kind of scared with cream eyeshadow because, like, creasing is my biggest fear. I hate creasing, it's disgusting, and uh, I hardly ever get it, actually. Uh, but these, when I finally tried it, I was like, I have to, I have to. And when I finally did, when I finally tried them, it was mind blown, okay? These are incredible, and they are, they actually set. Um, you should probably powder them, powder them, especially if you have oily eyelids, but holy crap, Mine blown. Seriously, I need to pick up more of these and so do you because they are incredible. Um, I have an eyeliner that I picked up in London and it is, of course, the Tom Ford Eye Defining Pen in color 01 Deeper. It is just a pure black eyeliner and 
If you know me, you know that I swear to gel eyeliner and my favorite is the Bobbi Brown gel eyeliner and uh, I've just been like, eh, I don't feel like, like they cut it, just these typical pencil eyeliners, but I have to say, even as a true gel liner lover, this is absolutely incredible and it does not take a long learning curve even though I have never really used a pen eyeliner before but I have to say because it is double tipped so this is this is my favorite and actually it's like a long and it is kind of it's like a brush um it's not felt or is it felt no it's definitely a brush had to make sure before I tell you guys and then on this side this is a felt I'm pretty sure this has a just little nub and I have to say this nub Takes some practicing because the first few times I may have looked like Amy Winehouse. Just saying. Just just take some practice practice, but it is absolutely amazing and it is so black, so easy to use, so practical because you don't need like a little tub of gel and then a brush. And I just love it. I will probably do a review on this on my blog, at least if you guys want to see it. But I want to ask you guys a question. If you guys have used this, I wonder like which parts of the eye you do with each each brush. Because I'm kind of having trouble like with technique and where to use this. I need some advice. I have one more pure makeup item and it is a bronzer that I'm wearing today. I don't know if it looks really orange, but I love it anyway. <laughs> I don't mind being a little orange. I love orange. <clears throat> Ooh, it looks like this. It is the Dior Dior Skin Nude Tan Nude Glow Sun Powder in the color 001 Honey. It is the very lightest color. It is just an almost matte bronzer. It has like a little bit of, it doesn't have like shimmer in it, but kind of glow in it and I absolutely love this I have been using it a little bit for contouring as you can see maybe but I also like using this just on an everyday basis just to get a little definition and a little glow in my face and the formula is so nice um, it just very finely milled super easy to use and let's not forget the packaging is absolutely gorgeous I, I keep saying it, but I still feel that this is probably my favorite makeup packaging of all time. Love it that much. And of course, to use my browser to apply it, these will come as no surprise. My new Tom Ford makeup brushes. Holy crap, these are incredible. When I first got them, I was like, oh yes, I get it, they're so soft, ooh, can't wait to try them. But once you actually try them, it is like, oh, oh, they're that awesome. Yes, they're like, orgasm awesome. Uh, so I do have this big, this is the bronzer brush, and then this is the cheek brush. Um, I like using this for face powder as well, as well as bronzer, not contouring, obviously. That's actually what I did today, but it went kind of heavy. Uh, but just all over the face and just just to glow with bronzer. It is absolutely incredible And I have to say I'm gonna sound crazy saying this, but it's so nice and soft. I like washing it. I usually stand washing makeup brushes, but I like washing this. I know crazy. And of course also this is the cheek brush, which is like the little blush brush. So soft, very easy to use. I do, it does pick up a lot of powder, a lot of product compared to my other blush brushes that I've used throughout the year. So I do have to just tap out a little bit and it does sometimes require a little bit of just blending some extra work on the blush, which I'm not used to, but the results are just incredible. I love these and I'm gonna have to say it, if you can afford these, they are indeed worth the crazy price tag. I said it. I went on record. I said it. It's true. So I don't actually have like skincare in this month's favorite, but I have an old body favorite that I just started using again. It is the Aderma Exo Mega Emollient Cream. 
And this cream is incredible. I actually had this in my 2013 favorites. It is like my favorite body lotion. I use this on Edward as well. He gets some eczema and this just helps with everything. It's moisturizing. It helps with eczema and I get, you know, you get kind of like nubby over like skin on your overarm. I know this, I don't remember what it's called, but it's pretty normal and this does in fact help. There are several versions of this, so this is the emollient cream. You can use it on face and body, but I do only use it on my body. I use it on Eddie's face. It's great and it is just so gentle and it's calming to the skin and they did actually start selling this on feelunique.com because it is hella expensive in Norway and it's like half price if you buy it from the UK. So if you're in Norway and you want to get it, go to feelunique.com and you're going to save a bunch. So I do have two candle favorites. For me, they're kind of the same as beauty favorites and you know, every beauty blogger Love scented candles, at least like everyone I've ever seen. You cannot love scented candles. And I actually have two that I've been burning religiously this month. And the first one is one that I got for Christmas last year and is from Veluspa. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Um, it is the pomegranate patchouli candle. And this is the, the two, two wick tin size. Holy crap, this smells so good. It's I can't really describe it, but it's warm and really nice. And I don't know if it, it, it is like kind of floral and kind of fruity, but it's like so perfect for fall and winter. And ugh, I love it. I'm uh, well, over halfway done with it. And I will definitely be picking up another. And then the other candle has quickly turned into my favorite tinted candle of all time. And it is Amber from Diptyque. I did pick this up in London. It's looking kind of ratchet now because I've been burning it a lot. But, oh, this is so amazing. It's just a typical warm, ambery, not real amber, you know, um, scent and, oh. It is amazing. It is like, it is perfect for fall. It's just a genuine fall candle, but I can easily see myself burning this year round. I'm already down to this. So I need to pick up one, a new one soon because oh, it's just so amazing. I'm going to pick up the bigger one next time. I'm, I'm kind of like going crazy for it because if I have it on my bookshelf that I walk pa past like a million times a day, I just get a whiff of it. I'm like, oh my god, what's this beautiful smell? Is it my perfume that smells so good? No, it's the candle. Okay, so moving into my random favorites, I do of course want to show you the book that I'm reading, and it is another Dan Brown book. I, I don't think I've mentioned anything that is not Dan Brown or Harry Potter in 2004, um, but this is The Lost Symbol. It is the last Dan Brown book that I have not read. Uh, I have to say, I know it's kind of cliche to read Dan Brown, and it's kind of looked down upon. Uh, I understand why, because all his books are generally the exact same story with the exact same char characters. But I just love his books, uh, first of all, because he is amazing at suspense. That man can write, let me tell you that. But also because it's, he's so good at describing architecture and the places that they are. That's, I think, the main reason that I love his books. And every time I read a book, it's always in some amazing city. This one is in Washington, D.C. And just from his descriptions, every time I read a book, I get an extreme urge to go visit it. And I just want to see all the places that they are. And... Just uh, look into the history of that place. And Washington DC has like a lot of secrets, really cool. And uh, I just love this so much. And I think, let me look at my follow facts. I think I just have one more favorite and it is a TV show. And it is actually a cartoon show from the Disney Channel or Disney XD, does it even matter? What else? It is called Gravity Falls. And it is just a like, mystery suspense series not for small children but like 
like for maybe like 10 years and up to like even me as an adult it is so much fun and so exciting and ugh, I'm just in love with that show it's so cool I watch every single episode and my husband kind of likes it too he's not as childish as I am but ugh, I just love it and the characters are so fun and such an amazing show and I hope they they keep making episodes because it is just awesome so if you like that kind of stuff do check out Gravity Falls I can highly recommend it and it's very exciting and fun and funny and it's so good so that is it for my October favorites for 2014 I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to see more videos featuring me of course subscribe to my channel it will make me so happy and do give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and i will see you guys very soon in my next video i love you guys so much bye